In this video, I am going to explain the difference between transformers library and C transformers in a very simple way. Transformers library is one of the de facto library when dealing with large language models. Transformers is simply a Python library that makes downloading and training machine learning models or LLMs very easy. If you want to use transformers in your code, you would need to do a bit more steps, such as, for example, if I take this example of this Google Colab, first you need to install the transformers, specify your model name, then set up some parameter. I'm just using one, for example, then specify the tokenizer. And then from there, you would need to call this function in order to initialize the model. And this could be any hugging phase or GPT model, which you can use here. Now, there are a lot of steps here. And as your use case grows more, it can become quite complex. This is where C transformers comes to help. It is again, simply something built on top of transformers and it is a Python binding for the transformer models implemented in C or C++ using GGML library. Usage of it is very simple and it support a lot of models including GP2, Falcon, Llama, and the list goes on and on. So we just saw how to use the transformer. Let me quickly show you how easy it is to use the C transformers. Just like you install transformer, the first step we need to do is to install our C transformer. Let's run it. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. It is installing it. It's quite lightweight. And I'm just using a free tier of Colab. That's already done. In the next step, this is all you need to do in order to use your model. Just first import your auto model for causal LM and then just specify your language model. And if you run it, it is going to download model very rapidly in a very easy way. And that, that's all you needed to do. Now you can simply do inference on this model. So just LLM and then in brackets your from. So I'm asking is what is the capital of Australia? And let's see what this model GPT-2 in GGML format provides. So there you go. There is a response there. Let's not go into the quality of that response because it is a very lightweight uh, GPT-2 model, which we are just using for our example. So again, C transformer is probably the better way these days because it makes downloading and running your large language models very easily. And there are fewer steps and it is quite quick too. So that's it guys. If you are using C transformers or even transformers for any use case, please share for learning of us all. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.